Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is day two in Rome. Um, we are going out to Vatican City today. Um, just going to explore there for a while. It is now seven, no, it's just after eight o'clock in the morning. We're getting up, we're getting out early to make the most of when the temperatures are a little bit lower, just like yesterday. So let's go. <laughs> we have come to this um, little pastry place. Um, we have got two espressos, we have got a chocolate twist and an apricot. Apricot and chocolate twist. Apricot and chocolate. And then I ordered apple juice and he said green and I was like, yeah. It's green. It's green. <laughs> This is like not what I would drink. Like I'm not into like green stuff. It tastes nicer than it looks. It does taste. I think it does taste like green apple juice. Yeah. Yum. Try this pastry. So in Milan, I found out that you need to put half of one sachet is enough for one espresso. Do you not put sugar in yours? Yeah. I feel like it needs half of a sachet. I feel like the espressos here are really small compared to wherever <laughs> I've been before. Yeah. Actually, not so much this way. Yeah, solid. Mm. Probably put it in the microwave. So like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A lot of 30 seconds in the micro would do no harm. We've also ordered a bruschetta. Not five out of ten. Mm. Five out of ten. Four or five out of ten. How's yours? Yeah, two. Two out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's anything in the middle, but. Oh, chocolate. It might go up. <laughs> <laughs> right, the bruschetta's arrived. It smells really good. Much better. I think it could use um, some balsamic vinegar though. Mm. I couldn't really finish my pastry, it was a bit dense, hard, stale. Still. It's been sitting out for a while, probably. Right, breakfast is finished. It was a very average experience. I don't know if I said, but I ordered apple juice and they said, and he said green. So I don't know what my other option would have been. I would love to have known. Um, I think what went wrong is Nora's open for half an hour for breakfast. Yeah. And we can't wait for her to start Yeah. So the places that are open are for tourists. Yeah. So if, yeah, like we'd have had more options if we'd waited, but we were really hungry. Um, the bruschetta was nice. It just, like it was nice, it was fine. It just needed salt and balsamic vinegar, but ate the lot. We are just heading now to where? Um, St. Peter's Square. St. Peter's Square. <laughs> My dad said, are you doing a tour? No, dad, not after the Coliseum yesterday. That's so cute. It starts like three. So this is St. Peter's Square and then that must be St. Peter's Basilica in there. And it's free to get in I must say, but it's the queue's crazy. And do you think it'll have air con? <laughs> Building was it like built in 10 AD or something. <laughs> it is stunning though. How pretty is this? So so pretty. However, the queues are not pretty. Oh look, Emma. That's the queue down there. Yeah. All of this, yeah. all the way down there. I know. 
They should just Google what it looks like on the inside <laughs> or watch a YouTube video. Wow. I wish I was that person that could queue like that. Then where? There, yeah, that looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought that was him coming down yeah. the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Although I wouldn't really know the Pope if, he, if I saw him, would you? No, maybe his outfit would give it away, but... Yeah, I think I'd probably recognise the outfit and that'd be it. Oh, it is nice though. It's so pretty. So we've decided we're not going to go in because of the queue. Because they're queuing, look. Right, there, the queue's back there. And it goes all the way around here and then up the side. No thank you. We have just been around the shops, went to Sephora, we went into Pandora, I got these little um, earrings, don't know if you can see them. This one is um, a bit dodgy so I'm scared to lose it and then we went into a shop to use the toilet. Uh, we have stopped off for a drink now, we have got a Fanta orange apparently. Does it taste orangey? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look good. And then I've got a cola and the lemon and the fan is needed now it's getting really hot um yeah it's delightful and these are the views the supreme court is that what you said it was yeah. mm -hmm. it's hot out there it's hot here in the shade now it's, it's, it's getting it's getting hot now oh my god my face is soaking we have just arrived at Styria da fortune something something i'll show you and this is the lunch spot for today. There's just a bit of queue, but apparently you get in no bother when they open at 12. So we'll wait and see. It's really hot now, isn't it? My face is soaking, as sure it is. Yeah. Ooh. 34. At least we're in the shade in the queue. Mm, yum. It's TikTok famous, so it could go either way. <laughs> Right, so we're in this place called Osteria da Fortunata, which is where we were queuing for, but when they open at 12, we got a table, so it's fine. We're just waiting for water, a caprese salad again, which is the tomato and mozzarella with basil. And what else? Oh yeah, and then like a chili, tomato and meaty pasta. The guy said, oh, I recommend the meatballs, and then I was like, well, she's vegetarian. <laughs> but we've ordered a meaty pasta anyway. <laughs> I feel like when they're finding out recommendations, we should be taking them. They're boiled meatballs. Boiled meatballs. Boiled meatballs. Boiled potatoes and eggs. Parmesan, celery, onions, pepper, eggs, and salad. Boiled beef. Boiled meat. That's what you wanted. Well, that's what you wanted us to have. No, I'll stick with the stick. Stack. <laughs> As usual in Italy, we're starting with bread and olive oil and balsamic. Good. Mm -hmm. Still. Good. <laughs> right, our food has arrived. We have got the caprese salad, which is the buffalo mozzarella and tomato, and then this. What was in that? Was it bacon? Bacon and beef, I think. Bacon, beef, cheese, and chili. Looks nice, and the bread was amazing. It was nice and warm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Bacon. Oh, I don't know if it's just bacon. Yeah, it might. Just bacon. Oh wow, it looks so good. Yum. Right, this food. I know, I like this food. This food is delicious. Really good. The pasta is also excellent. Do you like it? Yeah. It's not spicy though, is it? No. It's going to be like chili oil in it, but, but brilliant. And this lady here is literally rolling up the pasta. 
That's crazy. <laughs> And that's where we were sitting in there. You would die so quickly from the heat in that toilet. Yeah, I had to do it in the fucking pitch black because it was a power cut. <laughs> yeah, there was a power cut when Emma was in the toilet. Of course there was. Oh, it's warm. That was fantastic. How much was that? 42 euros. But <laughs> we're just at this water. That's buzzing. It's a big bottle of water as well. Um, and this is the water fountain we're just going to fill up at. Bit slow. It's so slow. We've already been here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Emma has just gone cheese tasting. <laughs> she is picking up some cheese for Ross, but they have just given her a cheese <laughs> that she's not so keen on. Oh, she's still getting handed cheese. <laughs> oh, Parmesan. I don't know what it is. I thought it was pepperoni. Oh, are they not the same thing? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's coming back with more cheese now. Oh. Really is parmigiano. Oh, yeah. This is, is a non parmigiano. Okay. Okay. Is a parmigiano is the age in the pianura. This is the age in Igmonte. Okay. Thank you. Did you buy your teas? Yeah. Oh, there's more. Oh. Do you want to just get your cheese now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was he um, trying to give you more cheese? Yeah, so she gave me his business card. I'm going to buy back for more. <laughs> and I could get out there quick enough. <laughs> he just kept giving you cheese. Um, his son kept like being like, no, no, um, she's pregnant to his dad. Oh, we've eaten. I think he's meaning us. This guy. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> just not what you're after after that food. There's more cheese. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's nice, but I can't. Was that 12 euros at one block of cheese? Yeah. Is that necessary? Yeah, that'll be worth it. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> you just kept opening the fridge and handing you more cheese. I like it, though. I was like, Joe's not what I want. <laughs> we have just taken like a 20 minute walk from that restaurant. It is really, really hot now. Um, to this Magnum place. What's the Magnum called? Magnum Pleasure Store. Magnum Pleasure Store. Where apparently you can make your own Magnum. <laughs> and it's it's so that's fun. Um, still feel from the cheese that man gave us. There's a big Lego store, that's cool. Oh yeah, there's the Magnum outside the shop. Oh cool. Oh wow, oh it's cool, oh this is Ace, the big magnum sign. Yeah. 
I went for a brownie, caramel crunch and some like chocolate balls. That's unreal. It's a thick layer of chocolate for me. Mm -hmm. While we... Good evening. We are at the Piazza Navona. Navona. Yeah. Navona, something like that. We're just sitting outside. Um, just ordered a virgin mojito. The guy just said, oh, virgin. And Emma said, yeah, she's pregnant. And he said, oh, it's weird for British people to not have alcohol. Anyway, Emma's ordered a Hugo, which a Hugo spritz. Um, and yeah, it's 35 degrees at 6 p.m. It's bloody roasting. We've just been back in the room and slept for two hours again. Let our clothes and bras dry. <laughs> Changed our knickers, had a cold shower. And we're back out, ready to go for the evening. We're going to Travis there, Trav Trastevere, something like that tonight, which is meant to have cool bars and restaurants. So we'll see what happens tonight. That Magnum earlier was amazing, wasn't it? Unreal. Absolutely, 12 out of 10. How would you, yeah, how would you rate that? Definitely not 12. I would say... So it's the best Magnum you've ever best had? Best Magnum. I would probably never have another Magnum ever again, but 9. Maybe they could, like, the toppings could have been improved. Yeah. Or, like, put, like, caramel over the top. Or you didn't get the option of a white chocolate. Yeah. So I'd go 9. Okay. There was like chilli powder, wasn't there, and pepper yeah. and Himalayan salt, salt that you could add to the thing. But anyway, yeah. these are our views. How stunning. Lovely. Right, what's in your Hugo spritz? I don't actually know, I think it's Prosecco, mint, lime, soda. So quite like a mojito. No, but there's something else in it. You're such a fight with those sunglasses on. <laughs> that is delicious. Is it? Yeah. But you don't like after us, but it's No, this is the next best thing. And I'm going to try this virgin mojito, which has got ginger ale in it. Oh, wow. We went to town on the sugar and the lime. This is perfect. Oh my god, yum. Fabulous, so good. Although the Cokes last night in that rooftop bar were the same price as the beer. It's the same, Mojito Spritz is the same as your Virgin. Yeah, so the Virgin Mojito tonight is the same price as all the other cocktails with alcohol in it. It's quite weird. But it's nice to not drink Coke for a change. Right, we are entering, how do you say it, Emma? I think it's Travistetti. Travistetti. Um, no idea. I know. The pronunciation of us on this trip has been horrendous. Um, oh, cute. So it's all these little back streets, which is like, this is all what it was like when we were walking to get the tiramisu last night. Like, everything's down these little cute streets, and none of them are really that dodgy. You can get everything down here. We said earlier that we feel totally safe in Rome, don't we? Yeah, so far. So far. Watch us get mugged. <laughs> yeah. No pit pocketing yet. No. So we are at La Conica. La Cononica. La Cananica. Cananica. Yeah. Maybe. We are here and uh, we have ordered like a hot salami and ricotta pizza. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, just anywhere. A mixed salad and ricotta bruschetta. But why is that that colour? Oh, perfect, thank you. Perfection doesn't exist. But uh -huh. it's close. This is the ricotta bruschetta. Why is it that colour though? What is that? And then we have got the mixed salad here. Sweet corn in a salad gives me the fear. Does it? Yeah. I like it. 
Um, yeah, and then we've ordered pizza, but I, I don't think there's room for that yet. <laughs> Let's eat. So the pizza has also arrived. Um, I haven't even had a chance to try this. What's it like? Is it oniony? Yeah, a little bit. It's not tomato. This is hot salami, cheese, tomato, ricotta cheese, and then the salad. This looks amazing though. I'm gonna try this. And then this is the street we're down. Lovely, and we're getting like a hot, like a fan and a mist. It's really nice. <laughs> anyway, bon appetit. Right, I'm gonna try this pizza. I've just dipped the pizza in this chili oil. Mm. That's amazing, Emma. Yeah, unreal. Absolutely amazing. The bruschetta is also really nice. It's just not tomatoey. It's like I don't even know what it is. It's not oniony either, though, is it? It's really good. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Look, I think the bruschetta tastes better than it looks. Yes, for sure. Dinner was fantastic. It's gonna get a nine from me. It's losing 0.5 because there's sweet corn in the salad and that gives me the fear. I can only eat corn on the cob. And the, no thank you. Yeah, the three things, like that. And what else was wrong? Oh yeah, I really wanted tomatoes on my bruschetta. And Emma's wondering if it was aubergine. I don't think I've ever eaten aubergine in my life. But yeah, really, really good. That pizza, the pizza alone gets an 11 out of 10 for me. But everything else has lost 0 0.5. Um, you? I've probably got overall experience 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like... Pizza was good, but I was expecting like you know like a deep dish and like, coming up at the sides of the pizza. Yeah, I was expecting that, but it's still really good. I liked it how it was. Bruschetta looks was a two out of ten, but taste was seven out of ten. It's looked like we vomited on the plate and stuck some. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, table too small. Yeah. We could fit everything on. So I take overall experience seven and a half. She's really hard to believe. <laughs> but, you know, but you know it's like gonna be amazing when it's 10 out of 10. Like that steak. But right? all I could fault was the sweet corn. Not quite the size of the table. The size of the table is small, but it really hasn't affected my experience. I wouldn't not come back because of that. <laughs> This is so funny. Right. <laughs> we have left that trust of beer, whatever, and we have headed to Mr. 100 Tiramisu, which is down this little back street. This is a queue for takeaway. Um, don't, don't know why there's a queue for takeaway. But yeah, we're gonna have a tiramisu here, and then I think we're gonna go for a drink somewhere else and have another tiramisu. When in Rome, um, and we need a menu though. He says it's on Insta. Oh, is that what you said? And then what do you do? Yeah, this is a menu. Is it a hundred tiramisu? Like I can't even read that. No. Look, you think we should get our flavour here though, and then try a normal classic over there. What time? Half eight at night and it's 32 degrees. Can you just comprehend that for one minute? Yeah, we've just ordered. Thank you. We've just taken the guy's recommendation. He said banana and cinnamon. So, pistachio and something. They're quite big on their pistachio and their tiramisu over here. But yeah, we'll, sh <laughs> we'll get back to you. There's like a conveyor belt. You know it like your sushi? Ah, sushi. Of uh, tiramisu. That's cool. We're here, and so is the cinnamon and banana tiramisu. This looks like a slobby slab. 
Tennessee normally does. Yeah, is that Utah or is that Panama? I think it'll be Panama. I think it'll be like the North Oh my god. It's exactly what you thought it was going to be. <laughs> that is good. That is banoffee with ben um, cinnamon. Yeah. I just feel like cinnamon's really Christmassy, so it's weird it's sitting in 30 all degree heat eating cinnamon. That's better than last night. Oh, yeah. So much better than last night. What's your rating? It's not cold. No. It's not really cold. I would go 90. Strong 90. And that's good. I'll do a strong 9.5. Yeah, I'll go 9. That's low. <laughs> that's low. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's low. Yeah, that's low. Delicious. It's a thick caramel sauce yeah. on top. It's like that tin of like caramel you buy from the supermarket. Yeah. Like if you were to then go and make a pot of pie. But then there's no, it's not like really tiramisu because it's not got coffee or chocolate in it. Mm. I love it. It's a little bit of coffee, but not strong. You can taste the coffee in this, but you can taste the coffee in last night. <laughs> 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 Fabulous. Right, Emma's gonna try the tiramisu. If I had to rate them, the salted caramel was better. The first one. Yeah. Then this one. Then last night's one. Okay. It's like a harder biscuit rather than like the sponge. So this one comes two out of the three. Yeah. Okay. And what's the chocolate to mm. coffee ratio? Strong coffee, less on the chocolate. Okay. Are you ready? And we've got an espresso martini and a virgin mojito. Thank you. It's quite nice in here. This is right next to the 100 tiramisu. And there's air cotton. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try this quickly before I get. Strong chocolate, less coffee. I said strong. Coffee last uh, oh, I can't really taste coffee. I can just taste chocolate. <laughs> One of us has COVID. <laughs> oh, there's coffee. This is better than last night. Okay. How do you rate them out of one, two, and three? So I think the one we've just yeah. had is better yeah. than are, this one, than um, last night's. Agreed. Uh, so good. Right, we're home. We're in the room. It's seven minutes past 10 p.m. Knackered. My ankles are, my feet are so swollen that you can't even see the difference between, there's no ankle there. That's just leg and feet. Oh, it's not good for anyone. Anyway, dinner was fabulous. I've got black cycling shorts on because the chafing was terrible. Dinner was amazing, great value for money, really like it down that area. Mr. 100 tiramisu, that banoffee and cinnamon tiramisu, heaven. Um, and then we went to that bar and yeah, lovely. I bought this little baby grow, ciao Roma. How adorable is that? Six months apparently. We are heading to bed now. We're gonna set the alarms for 7 a.m. We are checking out um, and flying home tomorrow, but we'll take you with us in the morning, see what we get up to on our last morning in Roma. Ciao. Good morning. Welcome to day three in Rome, final day. It is, oh, just 10 past nine. We are just having some breakfast in the best place to have breakfast in Rome according to TikTok. Um, we are right at the Trevi Fountain here. So that is the Trevi Fountain right here and we are just sitting on the corner. Um, we are waiting for a cappuccino, an espresso, apple juice. Hopefully the apple juice is better than yesterday's. <laughs> 
and a pistachio croissant because that's what they eat here and a chocolate one. Um, I want to go back to the cherry fountain mm -hmm. because I'm ho I was so underwhelmed with it that I'm hoping if we go back again we might be more whelmed by it. Mm -hmm. And Emma was just saying that she thinks she's been lied to her whole life. I was just under the impression the cherry fountain was like round, so that you could go like all the way round. It's like just a building with a fountain on the front of it. And you could, and we thought you could throw a coin, but no one's doing that. No. And it's not romantic. No. And it's literally in the middle of the city. You would just come across it. You wouldn't. No. I was expecting bigger and better. I feel like I it's probably one of the biggest reasons people come to Rome. Yeah. And there's so much nicer things that we've seen than that. Yeah, there's so much. Yeah. We yeah. just have trust issues with social media after that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe what you see in the movies, kids. <laughs> Right, breakfast has arrived. We've got the pistachio one, which neither of us know if we're gonna like. We've got the chocolate one. Emma went at espresso. I really like the look of these big coffees, so I went for a cappuccino. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's see what happens here with the pistachio. Mm, tastes just like pistachio. Imagine that. <laughs> But a tiny bit sweet. Mmm. Mmm. I really like that. I really like that. Mmm. And it's stuffed with the filling inside. Mmm. Really, really good. I don't know what's up with the apple juice over here. Although I did get the option of colour today. He just. She said, Yeah, we have apple juice. And there's no brown floaters, which makes me think you should have had brown floaters in the last one yesterday. Yeah, there was brown floaters in the one yesterday. I just presume because it was so sweet they'd added brown, brown sugar. But that one doesn't have floaters in it. It's so sweet though, it's sweeter than apple juice at home. Oh, it was a good decision. Yeah. What's your rate? Probably a 9 out of 10. I would agree. 9 out of 10. I have to have that again. Yeah. Chocolate croissant now. It's just the chocolate inside. It's just... We wonder if this will be quite sickly though. The coffee over here, we've not had a bad coffee. Delicious. The coffee is so bloody good. The espresso yesterday, that was good. This cappuccino is amazing. Um, well, I don't, this one's not filled with chocolate. This has just got the chocolate on the top. Interesting. I think if you. That pistachio one, a little bit sweet, tiny bit sickly. sweet, but not sickly. Yeah, perfect, brilliant. This is like Nutella. Yum. Amazing, but eight out of ten probably yeah, because it gets sickly. Pistachio is better. 
so my mum and dad were in Rome last year and I'm just asking my mum about the Trevi Fountain and she said it's beautiful and it's huge and I said am I, uh, yeah are we at the right place? I don't think we're at the right place um, and then she said taste so I think she's trying to say we're distasteful <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, we Maybe we are. How much was breakfast? Yes. Oh, 18. 16.50. 16.50. So that's good. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive, but we think it's because it's closer to the fountain. Yeah. So this was the breakfast spot, just right here. Uh, right. Here's the Chavi fountain. <laughs> Okay, I feel like it is big actually. It's yeah, it's be it is bigger than I remember it to be two days ago. Yeah. Maybe because we've walked into it instead of up and around the corner because we came from that way the last time. Is it? There's no water on, there's no fountain. It's all the money. No. Oh my god, look at the money! Oh my god! They're actually hosing it out. No, I don't There's no fountain on. I think it is prettier to be honest than it was the other day. I can't believe they're taking the money out. What are they away to do with it? Look at the big bags of money. Wow. I think it's better the second time around. We were saying we've just taken photos now and it looks like it's empty. But this, <laughs> what you cannot see is all of this. I can't believe we've come again and the fountain's actually off so they can collect the money. I wonder how much money they're making. I wanted to throw a coin in, but we don't even have a coin, do we? <laughs> Look at them holding up the money. This is also what you don't see in the movies. <laughs> no, you wouldn't collect that much money every day. This will be a once a week thing. 1.5 million euros a year. 3,000 euros daily in change. One what? 1.5 million euros a year. This Trevi fine like, and 3,000 euros a day. <laughs> I'm coming back to rob the Trevi yeah. fountain <laughs> at <laughs> night time. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I thought today was going to be the day that I was going to go into these designer shops that I love because we're down this little, we're near the Spanish steps. And there's like a Celine, there's Bottega, there's Hermes, there's Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior, all of the big ones. And then I thought, right, I'm gonna go in, like it's chill down here. Literally went to walk in with a group of people in Gucci so it didn't look like it was just us. And the girl took the door and was like, please wait here. So I ran away, that was my opportunity. I thought I'd really plucked up the courage today. <laughs> one look at us and we're literally swatting from every orifice with our climber back to put Yeah. She's not she's probably she's not got a sign on. She's not got a label on her sunglasses, they're not getting in. We are back in the apartment, come to pick up our bags. Um we are just gonna head for a drink. I think we should get a drink. Yeah. And then just down at Piazza del Popolo, where we're hopefully going to get a taxi back to the airport, which should be 31 euros because it was 31 coming, it's like set price. Um, great trip though, mm -hmm. two hours 40 on the flight from Edinburgh Airport, which is great. Mm -hmm. And I think for flight and this accommodation, we're 485 pounds, yeah. which is all right for two and a half days in the height of summer. It's a shame it's been so long. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, we are just going to close off this video now. I hope you've enjoyed the Little Rome series. Um, I'll be glad to get back to 15 degree heat. <laughs> I've never felt heat like this in my life. I'll least... never complain about being cold. No. Ever again. But at least we were prepared, like before we came, we knew it was going to be this mm -hmm. hot. But we wouldn't have booked it. We booked this a couple of months ago and we would never have booked it if we knew it was going to be... 40. And severe weather warnings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if you like these videos, remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.